it's me. It's Sunday today, so we're gonna be checking out some very creative people. Have you ever seen anybody actually make a wooden spoon? No, I did not think so. So it started out as a block of wood, and then they started carving out the part that you scoop. Added a single flower. Oh, there is resin involved. You know this is gonna be good. So the middle part is like a clear resin, and then you see the flower floating in the middle of the spoon. This looks very special. This would be my favorite soup spoon. If I had a favorite soup spoon. It looks like a pear. Are y'all making a fancy drink? Uh, no, because it's resin. Poured a bunch of flowers into it and then, ooh, pop it out, pop it out. Oh, it's gonna come out clean. Oh, it's a light bulb. Is it? Oh yeah, put the bottom on it. Wait, does it actually light up? It actually works as a functional light bulb. No way, that is so cool. So you can use a light bulb base with an LED light to make it actually look real. And you just tap it to turn it on and off. Oh, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. She suspended a chocolate sauce bottle by its neck, popped a hole into the bottom, and then let it dangle from a string so she could decorate this cake. And if you just keep letting it do its thing, it makes this really cool design. I mean, half of it ended up on the table, but still, it's a pretty neato idea. But that to what cost? Sacrifice the whole syrup bottle for this. Also, who put chocolate syrup on cake? Is that a thing? They made these custom sneakers. Got a Louis Vuitton stencil. Oh, that came out nice. Oh, started cleaning it up a bit. I'm not gonna lie, those look good. I can see the Louis Vuitton print creeping through. You've shown your true form. If that's not your thing, look at these Nikes with the drippy swoosh. <gasps> and then you take it out into the sun and the color really pops. So vibrant, you might need sunglasses. My favorite, some good old resin art. Now we have this heart with a bunch of triangles in it. And every single triangle is gonna get filled with a different shade of gold resin. Some is sparkly, some not so sparkly. Oh, and then pour a layer of black all over it. All right, pop it out. I wanna see the finished product. Oh, the best part is when they pop it out. Oh my goodness. I love how clean it comes out. Left no crumbs. They did their nail with marshmallows, stacked up marshmallows. Ooh, and then when you take out the toothpick, you still got the marshmallows. Oh, what are you gonna do with all that? What about the back of it? A snack for later? It's only a matter of time before I get hungry and consume my thumbnail. Oh, it's literally a marshmallow and I have no self-control. Day 11 of making Minecraft blocks out of yarn. So they're gonna make a pumpkin. Ooh, that came out nice, very clean. We got all the sides, cause you know, it is a box. A cube, if you will. Oh, it came out so cute, and there's more. These are very cute. They basically just like sew them together with yarn. Why aren't more grandmas doing this? At first I'm like, what is that? A slug? A leech? You poking holes into a leech? No, perhaps it's clay. Maybe paint? Anyway, she's adding texture to it with this little tool. Kinda looks like a lip, an upper lip. I know I said lip, but for a split second when I saw the finished product, when I saw two of them together, my mind instantly went, butthole. No, it's lips. And they're sparkly. That's pretty neato. What kind of brush is this? How are they doing the paint like this? You gotta put down four colors to begin with, and then this is all with one stroke without ever picking the brush off of the paper. Whoa. And that very fancy squiggly line completes the dragon. This started out as a plain black rock. She did this little intricate design on it. And then all of these are specks of paint. And then add some more paint. And we got like this colorful mandala. Whoa. You know, really jazzed up this rock. Can we call it a stone now? Goodness gracious, is this rock getting married? Really fancied her up. Kind of looked like a very expensive cookie. You take a bite, you shatter your teeth. Danger cookie. I saw this on TikTok where they started taking apart AirPods. And I'm like, ooh, so that's what's inside. You got all the metal parts. And then now you got nothing but an empty shell. At first I'm like, what are they attaching? He's cutting up all of these pieces and made this empty AirPod sculpture. What does it mean? They got their insides ripped out. And now they're just chilling there. And then he starts putting tape on a can. Wait, where is this all going? There's a point, I promise. You just gotta keep watching. You gotta trust the process for this one. Took some yellow gold. Put in this device. I'm assuming he's melting it. He's melting the gold. Submerge it into water? Oh! He dipped the headphones in real gold. Removed the other pieces and started filing them all down. Buffing them. We're gonna make them perfect. He's making gold-plated AirPods. No way. Some Princeton Dubai mouth breathing watching this right now. Why well, have regular AirPods when I can pay 20 times the price and have gold-plated ones? And they are 
fully functional. They work. Tested. Dang, I cannot believe that. They came out drippy. What a flex. So they use real slices of dried up lemon, put them on a wood base, poured resin on top of it, and you have this stool with lemon slices in it. Oh, and it comes with a mini one. Wait, is that a charging pad? No freaking way. How was their phone charging on it? They just put it down. I like the one with a lot of lemons, but this one wirelessly charges your phone. Y'all really took it to the next level. They poured some epoxy. Oh, I didn't even know you had to like mix this stuff up. Put their hands in it, made a mold of their hands. Popped them out, painted these bad boys. Oh, we even painted the nails gold. A cute little touch. Put them together, strung some LED lights through it. They're making a lamp. Poured some epoxy to make it look like the hands were pouring the light. No way. Oh, I like that. But isn't it weird seeing your hands just holding the light? I don't trust nobody else, but my hand to hold the light. You know, I pay the bills around here. I control the lights and the thermostat. I love watching these. Like epoxy art is just so incredibly cool to me. And I would love to try this one day. This guy works at the office at Legoland. Therefore has access to every kind of Lego imaginable. And so for Julie, he put together a Lego turtle coming out the ocean with sand. There are just way too many pieces of Lego. I took it a step further and made a box out of it with a drawer that pulls out that's made of Legos too. Dang, they really upgraded. Imagine trying to walk barefoot in this office. They got warnings up everywhere. Imagine working here. You would have access to any piece of Lego. You can build anything. So this guy makes road signs. And you'll see the whole entire process, how they make it. And instead of a regular stop sign, they asked him to do a lowercase stop sign with very small letters. You know, not stop, please, stop. A stop sign with the volume very low. And so it goes through so many layers. Ooh, make them edges extra crispy. And then put all the layers together. Oh, it's holographic on the inside. Fancy. Peel off the final layer. Well, bam, there you have it. A stop sign with a very small stop. Are you stopping for the stop sign or no? Your letters are not aggressive enough. This artist makes sculptures of faces that look like they're getting smushed together. Maybe he's just a little wet. They're wringing him out to dry. Guys, I think he's stuck. <laughs> what it feels like to wear a headband all day. My brain finna burst out through my nose. This is what he looked like before they tied him up. You see, simply too round. Must wrap him up like a Christmas present. So you know those hot wax stamps that they used to seal envelopes? But they did this one with a flower, pressed it down, and just added a bit of spice. They applied a holographic resin on this sunburst design. I have never seen a holographic resin. Whoa, it's so shiny. It looks like the universe. Hey, where is the finished product? I wanna see what it'll look like. Y'all just pour the resin on it and then throw it away? I think not. Some more resin art. They made a balloon dog, but he's clear. What pieces of glitter in him? A swimming buddy. <gasps> Even a foggy. Why grass inside foggy? Oh, look how small it is. It is teeny tiny. So she did this makeup look, and at first I'm like, okay, I know it's gonna be a Coraline look, cause you know, the buttons. But then wait, where is this going? And you just gotta trust the process. Add some cracks. That's a lot of cracks. Some bones, cause you know, Fill it all in. Even more cracks. I wanna look broken. And then the final look. It is the other mother from Coraline. This has gotta be one of the best ones I've seen. Hey, I thought this was a photo. A photograph, no. It is the world's smallest brush to do all the little details. Like at this point, you're painting in pixels. Goodness gracious, each single strand of hair. I can't even imagine how long this painting would have taken. Jeez, every individual eyelash. You are painting 10 times better than my eyesight. Like when I look at somebody, I don't even see that much detail in their face. How? Y'all are wild with it. At this grocery store, they have a watermelon balloon and they try to build a slice of watermelon out of the boxes of soda. I think they succeeded. I was like, why you got the Coke Zero in there? But it's supposed to be like the watermelon seed. You know, I think they did a really good job. Until a Karen walks in asking for that specific box of Sprite. I see a nice thing. I want to ruin it.
This guy is a beach artist who does these insanely huge murals in the sand. If you want to know how big it is, this is a drone flying up showing the entire art that he did on the beach. You see how small these people are? I'm surprised that Karen didn't trample her way through it. Like, oh, but I want to sit here. Can't you do your art somewhere else? Me and my son would like to sit here. Do you got signs up or something? What if somebody accidentally walks on it? I guess we starting over. Bye! Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. Comment below which one was your favorite. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.